Godfrey Cheyune spends most of his time in his workshop fabricating materials here in Kisenyi, employing a number of people and also training some students from vocational schools around Kampala. Cheyune says he has almost been rendered idle since the 24-hour load shedding began. If I compare the loss, we lose to almost 50 percent of what we could gain, and most of our customers have run away. You see, when a customer runs out another workshop because of the power, power loss, we may lose him. Unlike other traders who switch to generators whenever power is off, Cheney says using a generator would consume more than half the amount of money he would use with thermal electricity. A similar situation is experienced in a nearby grinding mill where we found workers seated idly with nothing to do. If you have to pay for it, you can pay for it. 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 You can this woman deals in perishables, selling fruits and fresh juices, which in many cases go stale. It's very hard to quantify how much local traders like maize millers or fabricators have lost. But one thing for sure is that they are all complaining of very high bills that have remained constant. But this is just a fraction of traders countrywide who continue to bear the brunt of the fluctuating power cuts that have now almost become the norm in the country. These traders are now calling for immediate interventions from the government. It's not clear when the 24-hour load shedding will go on, but Ugandans are growing desperate and longing for when the day the 24-hour power supply will resume. Isabel Nakiria, NTV.